Hi, my name's Callie, and I'm going to be a senior at the Dalton School in the fall, and this is my typing robot. As my final milestone, I've added a shift key, um, and the finger is a lot more liable. Let's take a look. I'm going to have it type OK, and then an exclamation point. So what has changed since my second milestone? Basically, reliability. The first thing is that I fixed this rack and pinion to be significantly more reliable. Initially, um, the gear had only 120 degrees of um, available rotation. But now, since, it, since it's a 360 degree gear, there, there's a much bigger um, range of rotation. That means that I can go down and press the keys a little bit more firmly. I don't have to inhibit my rotation to keep the rack and the pinion um, matching together with the gears. Um, so that really means that I can have confidence in it pressing the key soundly and properly, not doubling up and not missing it. Additionally, um, if you remember from my last milestone, there was a lot of problems with sagging. I've identified two places where the sagging was the worst and put some pretty simple solutions in actually. The first was at this elbow servo. Um, the horn uh, kept getting connected from the arms and so I just really made sure to keep tightening those screws all the time because as I discussed in my last video, there's a lot of load and keeping the on uh, and that will cause the servo to become a little bit looser. Additionally, I put this block of wood under this arm and that keeps it supported from the shoulder, which is going to have ramifications throughout the arm. Um, to take a little bigger picture on the program as a whole, I have had a really great time and I'm really, really proud that this works reliably now. It was giving me a big headache because it wasn't working reliably and now that I've you know, done some actually pretty simple fixes, it works a lot, a lot more reliably. Um, the problem, the reason that it wasn't working reliably was this finger, and I actually underestimated the problems that the finger would give me initially. I was doing all these broad base things with the coating and these arms, and I was, and I was thinking that the finger would just be an add-on because it sort of just looks like an add-on. But I've learned that I shouldn't assume things will work. I've learned that I should assume things will not work, and that I'm prepared to actually make them work. So. I spent a whole week on this finger, and now that it works, I'm really proud. Um, so that's probably the biggest thing I've learned, is that I shouldn't dismiss the details. And those are the things that really make this project reliable, cool, and this is some of the coolest bit of engineering that I did in this program. Additionally, I've learned that I don't really love just trying things and trying things and trying things because sometimes I feel like I'm not learning and when I was trying different things for the finger I was learning a little bit but I wasn't really getting deep into you know why things weren't working in here let me modify using that same um, vein and that's kind of how I approach um, problems with coding I say okay I'm doing this this is a loop why isn't it working I'm doing this well, let's try using some booleans and changing that up um, and I found that I can learn more through my problems with coding. Um, that may be a factor that I know more about the logic behind coding and um, because I've taken it in school and I haven't taken anything mechanical in school. Um, but I've learned that there's a difference and that that difference is... I, I'm just more sort of interested in the logic and doing the mental gymnastics with the computer than necessarily focusing all of my time and attention on something more mechanical or electrical. However, I will not say that I never want to be a mechanical engineer or never want to be an electrical engineer and that I only want to do comp sci because I think that that is a little bit limited. Um, and I think that if I were to just do one and just do the other, my projects would never be as cool as they could possibly be. I can never make this project or never make any of the cool projects that my peers are doing here just focusing on one branch of engineering. 
So I gained a lot of experience with mechanical and electrical things, and I learned a lot about um, robotic arms and their applications, which was so interesting. But I've also um, used my coding skills to sort of ease that part of the process, which let me learn more about this part of the process. Um, so I'm really excited about my future as a hobbyist or my future as an um, engineer because as my coding skills get better, as I learn more stuff in school and hopefully into college, um, I hope to marry that with the sort of electrical and mechanical things that I'm learning on my own um, or I'm learning with friends. Um, so that means that I'm really prepared to go forward in a more wholehearted, wholesome way, which is really exciting.